What the fuck? Hey, I said what the fuck? Uh, sorry, I thought you'd wake up later. You usually sleep in on Saturdays. Who are you? Wait, have you been following me? I apologize. I am unable to answer your questions at this time. I assure you, everything will be made clear soon. So you're following me? Uh, um, I apologize. Oh, I am forget it. Give me the it, paper. It, it, I'm sorry, Harry! Wait, how do you know my na name? Let's get real here. 40% of Americans don't have life insurance. Which is why right now is by far the best time to invest in Safeguard Life Insurance. Because we don't merely sell life insurance. We sell peace of mind. Thank you. <laughs> now if you have any questions. It's good to see you again, Mr. Grant. Hello. I saw you a couple weeks ago, right? At the conference? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your name? Kristen. Well, it certainly is a pleasure to see you again. So, do you want to get dinner or something later? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, how about at my place? Are you sure you don't want to go somewhere else? No, no, no. My place will be fine. Harry, are you listening? Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Of course I'm listening. <laughs> so, how many kids do you want to have? You know, you know what kids like? They like cookies. Mm. Come on, let me break into them and see what our fortunes are. Okay. You know, it's bad luck to eat the cookie for your fortune. Mm. Well, that's what they say. <laughs> oh. oh, you have already found your soulmate. <laughs> Could be you, Harry. Harry, are you okay? Harry, Harry! Oh Harry! My god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Harry! Come on, baby, breathe! Harry! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Come on, Harry! My name is Anna, and it is my joy and privilege to be your end-of-life transition facilitator today. I regret to inform you that you have just choked on a fortune cookie and are now dead. If you will please accompany to processing, I can answer any questions you have along the way. Should I repeat that? <clears throat> Harold! Nobody calls you that, do they? Can I call you Harry? We're supposed to refer to you by your full name, but really I just don't see the point. <laughs> Did you say end of life? Um, you're dead now. And it's my job to take you to processing. So if you'll please just come with me. No, no. But it's my job. Yeah, <laughs> I heard it's your supposed job, but I'm not buying it. All right, this is just some some gas from the Chinese. Yeah, and, uh, and you're a figment of my imagination. So I'm just gonna stay right here until I wake up. Don't be ridiculous. I'll take you by force if I have to. Oh, please. Open your eyes. I'm not opening up my eyes. Open your eyes. Nope. Now do you believe me? No, this could still be my imagination. Who are all these people? They're facilitators and they're recently deceased. This is really happening. Don't worry, about 150,000 people die every day. <laughs> Glad to know I'm in the in crowd. So when you were following me, were you just waiting for me to die? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at this job. Some of the other Reapers. Reapers? Oh, I'm sorry. That's the old term. 
End-of-life transition facilitator is the official job title now. It doesn't sound as scary. Facilitators are supposed to arrive at the moment of death so we don't scare you by lingering around. And I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet. Figured. Someone once told me that it's, it's all in the wrist, but I think they were making fun of me. Do you even hear yourself right now? What? You wait around for two weeks, waiting for me to die, and you act like uh, you're just waiting for a FedEx truck? That's my life. Why me? I mean, did you just have a name-picking party or pluck me out of a crowd of people walking down the street? I mean, what gave you the right to take everything away from me? I'm sorry, Harry. It was just your time you were assigned to me. Let's just get this over with. No community service. Not a lot of good deeds. You've hurt a lot of people. I, th I think I've been wrongfully killed. Do you want to file charges against the fortune cookie? Can I do that? No. There must be some mistake. I mean, I'm 26 years old. I mean, I have a life to live. You die, you're dead. That's that. Oh, come on. There's got to be something that I can do. You can move on. Sign here. You know, what, what will happen to me? I do not have the power to know that. Oh, come on, you gotta you got be able to give me some sort of guess. Like I said, you've hurt a lot of people. If you just give me a chance to go back, I can change things. That's that. He's free to go. Anna, after you have finished assisting Mr. Grant, you are to report to the protocol office for a disciplinary hearing regarding your handling of Mr. Grant's transition. No, no, no. Well, are they gonna fire me this time? I don't know. What do you mean? They can't fire her. She's doing her best. Sir? Good luck. To the both of you. Come on, Harry. It's time to go. Sorry. Ron's kind of grouchy. <laughs> Hey, can I ask you a question? Hmm? And don't get offended. Why do you do what you do? I mean, if you're not particularly great at it. I want to help people. The transition can be really hard, and I thought, I mean, I know I'm not great at this, and it's a lot of walking, but imagine if you had to do it all alone. Nice getting to know you, Harry. You're not coming with me? I can't. My job is to get you this far. The rest you have to do on your own. I hope... I hope I was a good facilitator for you. I swear, I used to be so much worse. There's this one guy, Louis R. Thompson. I followed him around for like three months. He went a little crazy by the end of it. So, two weeks really isn't all that bad. There's just so much more I wish I could have done. I'd be thankful for what you did do. You have 26 years of memories. Some people don't even get that much. Anna, thank you for being so kind to me. I did good. You're wonderful. I, uh... I guess this is my stop. <laughs>